A young boy in Rapid City is battling a rare medical condition. In fact, he's spent nearly half his life dealing with it. Tonight we share his story, his fight, and how he's doing as we go along the way with the boy and his family. Watching six-year-old Carter Berlin play, you'd never guess what he's gone through or what he's still going through now. Carter was going to be our athlete. He was always running around and lots of energy and um, always on the go running around. Just before dusk, Carter and his older brother Mason enjoy the playset in their backyard. Carter was living the life of any other boy from birth to age four. Pictures at every stage of his young life show an active, healthy boy. But then something changed. We first noticed he started dragging his leg. He was losing muscle strength and coordination, urgently searching for help, looking for answers as Carter's condition went downhill. Yeah, it felt like my legs couldn't lift themselves the up. Kind of frustrating, uh, difficult to go to different doctors and just they each kind of didn't really know what was happening or they had different theories of what they thought might be happening. So in May 2015, they headed to the Rochester Mayo Emergency Room. Before he went to the Mayo Clinic, the first time he, he wasn't able to walk. He had a difficult time holding a spoon, uh, holding a cup in his hand. Um, he could crawl around to kind of get around and do things. Merely talking about those days is emotional. Carter was put in the hospital at Mayo that same day. Over the course of uh, about three days worth of testing. And after that, they were able to give him a diagnosis. They found out that he has chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, or CIDP for short. CIDP is when the immune system thinks that the nerves are foreign objects and it starts to attack all the nerves in the body. The Berlins estimate Carter had not been able to walk for about three months. About one person per million per year get diagnosed with CIDP, and it's even rarer in children. No one knows what caused it but it was time to start rebuilding their little boy. By then, age five, it would not be easy and it would not be fast. It started with just teaching him how to uh, use his muscles again and teaching him how to, re to walk. I remember when um, he was in the walker and, he was, and it was hard for him to walk. They say the Shriners Hospital in Minneapolis is helping Carter with the orthotics for his legs and also helping to build the strength in his legs, lost from not walking. It's been nearly two years since the diagnosis. Oh, I want to check him in here. <laughs> but he is far from out of the woods. Every two weeks, he has 18 hours of IV treatments at Rapid City Regional. I just have to be brave. The whole family is adapted to it. The four of us go to his treatments, and we hang out in the hospital room and play games. And Carter's body essentially attacked his nerves, so they are recovering too. And so he gets a lot of pain and discomfort um, from the nerves just regrowing and regenerating. Carter, they say, is easily fatigued and only has the energy for half days at school. The rest they teach at home. We caught him on a good day, but they say not all days are. He also gets migraines and fevers. He can't do everything he used to do or that his friends do, but he can do a whole lot more than he could two years ago. Feels very nice. He's very courageous and compassionate, and he has a heart of gold. I feel very proud of him to be brave to go through all this stuff. His treatments continue, as does his nerve pain, and he's still regaining muscle strength. But as the kids goof around with the microphone... This is Carter Bourne reporting live, and this is Mason Bourne reporting live. You'd never guess what he's gone through or what he's call. still going through now. If you've met someone interesting along the way, please call or email us to let us know. If you would like to help, they do have a medical expense fund set up that you can donate to. It's, uh, the website address is on your screen. There it is at the bottom there. And uh, they have good insurance, they said, but it doesn't cover things like travel expenses to uh, Shriners Hospital, right. travel expenses to Mayo, um, you know, um, co-pays, all that kind right. of stuff. So if you're interested, you can help them out.